And Saints fans are trying to make the best out of a tough situation as Super Bowl weekend approaches. Many fans are boycotting the big game. There are many events planned in town to celebrate the Saints and ignore the NFL. Paul Murphy joins us with a look at what promises to be an unusual Super Sunday in New Orleans. Good evening, Paul. Good evening, Todd. Karen, as we know, we uh, here in New Orleans certainly don't need a Super Bowl to get together and have a good time. And while some local businesses are expected to take a loss this weekend, game or no game, Houdats are expected to be out in full force on Super Sunday. On a normal Friday before Super Bowl Sunday, the prep tables at Pigeon's Catering in Mid-City would be packed with workers preparing orders for Super Bowl parties and events. We're feeling the boycott bowl effect. Jared Pigeon admits what should be a prime weekend in the catering business is pretty much a bust this year. Technically, we're, we're closed on Sunday, which is probably the first ever Super Bowl we're closed. Other businesses are making the best of a bad situation. Dozens of establishments vow not to show the Super Bowl because of the no call that ended the Saints season. Dat Dog on Magazine Street will be playing the big game from 2010 when the black and gold took the Lombardi Trophy. People are getting together as a result of what happened. And for me, I feel that New Orleanians get more, more sarcastic, more witty, and a lot funnier when they're dealing with a frustrating situation. Dat Dog will also have a referee dunking booth, pin the blindfold on a ref, and other events to raise money for the Son of a Saint organization. I think this is a great way to celebrate the season, um, kind of give a, a last hurrah to, to the frustration and grief. Even the Children's Museum in the Warehouse District is planning a black and gold Super Sunday for the little ones. We're going to have lots of activities like black and gold face painting. We're going to be doing hoodat hats. Walk-ons in downtown New Orleans will be showing the Super Bowl, even though Saints quarterback Drew Brees is part owner of the franchise. We tossed some ideas around, but realistically, and I think even Drew would, would, would probably agree, at the end of the day, it's still the Super Bowl. Um, I think even he said he was going to watch it somewhere. And folks I spoke with today are hoping that the Super Bowl will at least give some closure to fans still smarting from the way the season ended for the black and gold. And they admit, though, that it will be a longer offseason this year. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. And Paul, in addition to all the events you just mentioned, there are many other parties planned for Sunday. The Boycott Bowl on Fulton Street kicks off at noon, runs until 10 o'clock Sunday, but we are told that concert is sold out after more than 3,000 fans bought tickets. Proceeds are benefiting the Nord Foundation. Other events include the No Call Jazz Funeral in Second Line. That's happening at the river near the Creole Queen dock area at the foot of Poydras Street. It's Sunday from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m., and there's another second line that starts at 2 p.m. and runs until 4. It's the Blackout and Gold second line parade that starts at Jackson Square. Coming up